Hi, this is Sari from Chloe Design. Welcome back. Back in 2018, I made one of my first YouTube videos to show how to turn photo into a SVG cut file. But hey, I had no idea what I was doing and really hard to learn anything out of that video. Despite though, it went viral, so I thought why not make the updated version. In this updated version of tutorial, I will explain how you can turn portrait photo like this one into SVG and DXF cut file like this one. In the old video, I used both Photoshop and Illustrator. But in this video, I am only going to use Illustrator since photo editing part can be now done by your mobile devices like iPhone. Just quick FYI, if you're ever in need of free SVG files for Cricut project, we have tons of free designs on our website. So come and check us out. Okay, without further ado, let's just dive in. Step one, decide photo. For those of you who are trying to take a photo after this tutorial to use it for your project, then I recommend you to have white background during the shooting session. Not only that makes clear and easy photo to work with, you will also save time editing and weeding it. Get as close as possible to the subject and take a photo under a natural light. Darker the photo is, harder to edit. For those of you who are scrolling the photo album and pick one, try to choose a photo with a white or a lighter background with close-up shot. For obvious reasons, you will have hard time editing and converting with detail and dark images. For this tutorial, I found this perfect photo of my son, so let's get into second step, editing photo. Step number two, edit photo. So before you convert this photo into SVG, you want to edit this photo to black and white. If you just simply take the original color photo on Cricut and try to convert it to cut file, unfortunately, it won't work for many reasons. My old tutorial showed how to edit with Photoshop, but since then, I found out for this simple type of editing, iPhone would just do fine. In this tutorial, I am using iPhone, but similar photo editing tools should be available on any other mobile devices. So let me know if you are an Android or a Samsung user, if it worked. Okay, let's open your iPhone, go to the image you are going to use, then hit edit. Then go to the filter section and go all the way to the last filter, Neuer. I think that's how you pronounce it. Then hit this nozzle icon to switch to manual editing mode. Then I set it up to brilliance to 100, highlights to 50, shadows to 1 minus 100, contrast to 100, black point to 100. Here's the tricky part though. Just because the setting worked on my photo that I am working with, this exact setting might not work well with your photo. So after changing the setting and it doesn't look right, go back and play around at each levels. Your goal is to set up this photo as a rough draft of your SVG cut file. When you are satisfied, go ahead and save it. Number three, convert to SVG. Now it's time to convert it into SVG file. I normally try to introduce SVG making technique without using expensive software like Adobe Illustrator, but this time I'd have to use it. But it offers seven day free trial, so sign up and cancel the subscription before the trial ends. I have the URL link in the description box for free trial. So send the photo over to your computer, then open Illustrator. Create a file with 300 by 300 pixel, then hit create. Click and drag the JPEG file directly on top of the white blank space. This will add the photo onto the file you just created. If you notice your photo have extension of HEIC, then don't panic. You can simply double click the photo, open it, then go to File, Export, save it as JPEG. Adobe Illustrator won't allow HEIC to be uploaded on its artboard, so all you have to do is to export it as JPEG. Once you successfully uploaded the photo, scale it down to the size to fit the artboard. While selecting the photo, go to Object, File Trace, then hit Make. Then you can already see how the photo being simplified. But don't worry, it's not done yet. Now go to Window, hit Image Trace. By doing this, you will get this little window pop up. With this, you can start tweaking your design. First, hit this little arrow next to Advance. Then go to down here and check ignore white. 
Removing white part from the design like this can be time consuming, so let's just remove it all together while you can. After removing the white, let's adjust the thickness by adjusting threshold. Higher you go, thicker the line will be. Play around and adjust it until you're satisfied. Once you are happy with how it looks, hit expand from the top toolbar. By doing this, you are finalizing your edit and turn your work officially to vector file, which can be saved as SVG files for Cricut use. Number four, edit the SVG. If you are happy how it looks, you can skip this editing process, but most of the time you might notice there are many small details that might not work well with Cricut when you cut the vinyl. So let's get rid of these tiny details and I promise you it's much easier than you think. Go to the tool window on your left hand bar, then find a paint brush icon. Go ahead and click, but hold it for a few seconds until option window pop up. Select this bulb blush tool, then adjust the brush size by changing the stroke size from the top toolbar. With this blob tool, you can simply paint over any unnecessary details, tiny white part you don't want the Cricut to cut. When I go closer to the face, you can see there are still a lot of details that might not be suitable for cutting vinyl. Let's get rid of that. I think it's getting looks better, doesn't it? Okay, this time, let's get rid of any black part you don't need. For this, you can simply use eraser tool. Find the eraser tool from your toolbar on your left hand side, then select erase eraser tool. Go ahead and remove all of the unnecessary black part like this. You can go switch around and tweak your design. I think I am happy with this design. So let's go to the next step. Step number five, cut with Cricut. Now you have the design ready, export it as SVG by going file, save as, and pick SVG as a format. Name your file, hit save, and then hit OK. If you need a DXF file, then you can go File, Export, Export As, then choose the format as DXF file. There you go, you have your very own SVG saved on your computer now. Now open Cricut Design Space and upload the file as you normally do with other SVG file. Adjust the size, then before proceeding to cut vinyl, don't forget to select the design, then Command Attach. Without attaching the file, the graphic is not locked in its each place, so it will show up like this. So don't forget to do that. Also, if you are cutting HTV, don't forget to mirror it also. Well, what did you think? You can try this by taking advantage of Illustrator's 7 day free trial. The link can be found down in the description box. Hope you enjoyed this tutorial and tag us on Instagram or TikTok if you tried this method. Give us a thumbs up and subscribe so I can continue to make tutorials like this. Happy crafting!